All right. I'll admit on my last video, I was a little bit scoffer-esque. The fact remains that everything I said was completely true. You can't just rename something and say, oh, now it's about Jesus. And that's exactly what has happened all throughout history. Every single modern holiday that you have is associated with pagan worship. Valentine's Day, Lupercalia. Easter is the celebration of the fertility goddess Ishtar. Did you really think that bunnies and eggs honor Jesus somehow? They were symbols of fertility. So when your church has those Easter egg hunts, you're actually not honoring Jesus at all. Halloween, admitted satanic holiday. And then you have Christmas, which is Yule, Sol Invictus, and Saturnalia all wrapped up into one. Those little globes that you put on your tree, they're to represent the god Saturn. Same with your wreaths. And the Yule log, caroling, and Christmas lights are all associated with Yule. And the giving of gifts associated with Sol Invictus. And in my videos, I have given undeniable historical and biblical proof of this and that we can't partake in them biblically. I want proof, not opinions, and I have undeniably proven with history that all of these celebrations existed before Christmas. And the fact that people are quoting sources like Inspiring Philosophy to prove their point, especially as a Torah observer, how are you going to use someone who is completely opposed to your entire belief system to justify being able to keep Christmas? I mean, if that doesn't ring some kind of red flag bell for you, then I don't know what will. That man is completely anti-keeping God's commandments and teaches others to do the same thing. That makes him a false prophet per scripture, false teacher per scripture, not my opinion. So if you're quoting him to justify keeping Christmas, not going to work out for you in front of God on Judgment Day, I can tell you that much. And people say that inspiring philosophy and others have proven that Christmas is not pagan and that we can keep it. Well, all they do in their videos for proof is quote other people that believe the same thing they do. That's not proof. And I've brought up Jeremiah 10 many times when we have these Christmas talks every single year. And it literally says the people, the customs of the people are vanity. They go into the forest, they cut a tree down, they take it to their house, they put it up, and they decorate it. And everybody says that's not about Christmas, not about your Christmas tree. Okay, fine. Uh, but for me, it walks like a duck and it talks like a duck. It sounds an awful lot like Christmas. So you can deny these things, but at the end of the day... God tells you not to learn the way of the nations. Clearly, Christmas is a way of the nations. People that don't honor God or Jesus whatsoever celebrate Christmas every single year. And people want to celebrate these holidays instead of God's holidays in Leviticus 23. And it makes no sense at all. Oh, where's your conviction for keeping Passover and Sukkot and all the other biblical holidays? Where's that? Christians will die on a hill all day long saying it's okay to celebrate Christmas. But when it comes to the biblical feast days, the ones Jesus kept and honored, the ones that are about Jesus, I have videos that show that as well, nothing. They don't care about those whatsoever, but they want to keep the ones of the nations, of the world, which you're commanded not to do. At the end of the day, Christmas, nothing about it is in the Bible. Jesus never said, put a tree up in your house and decorate it for me and give gifts to everybody for me. He never said, do it on December 25th, the day that's not my birthday. I mean, every scholar agrees that it was most likely in the fall. Some think it was the spring, but I doubt that because it says he was born six months after John the Baptist. And when John the Baptist was born, the temple services that they were doing at that time were associated with being done in the springtime. So that's why I most likely believe it's in the fall feast. And it makes sense because he's coming back on the fall feast. He's coming back on the Feast of Trumpets. So perfect circular motion right there. But I digress. If you want to keep Christmas, fine. But you're breaking a lot of really big commandments. And that's not my opinion either. That's scripture and that's history. And I most certainly have yet to see someone give me undeniable proof that these feasts weren't directly correlated to what we celebrate now as Christmas. History is not on your side here at all. And neither is God's commandments. But again, this life is a test. And we all get to make our own choices. So do whatever you want. But I'm just trying to tell you what the Bible says, and I'm trying to sound the alarm because that's what I'm commanded to do. So it's up to you if you want to listen or not.